Alabama headlines, state Democrats are trying to repeal Alabama's near total abortion ban, or at least add exceptions to it. News 19 state capital reporter Maddie Beer Temple has a look at where the state stands on the issue as the legislative session gets underway. Democratic lawmakers say they don't necessarily think their efforts will work with a Republican supermajority in the state house, but they say it's still worth trying. This bill is a messaging bill, but most bills start with a message. At a press conference last week, Senator Vivian Figures laid out her two bills. One repeals the state's abortion ban, the other adds exceptions for rape and incest. No, I had already said that we didn't expect these bills to go anywhere in this legislature, but we know that the conversation still needs to be up there and the cry of women are saying we want our rights. In 2019, lawmakers passed the Human Life Protection Act, banning the procedure in nearly all circumstances except for when the mother's health is at risk. That law took effect last June after the overturn of Roe v. Wade. Republican leaders say the party will discuss the possibility of adding exceptions. It's something that will be talked about in caucus and I think it's an issue that our members will bring forth on what they want to do and I look forward to that conversation. When speaking on the issue, how Speaker Ledbetter touted the state's bill to streamline adoption. That passed unanimously last week in the House. We're passing bills and going to do bills with the adoption this year, and I think that's a sign that we won't, uh, we won't laugh. Now lawmakers will return to the state house next week after spring break to begin day five of the 30-day legislative session. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.